proceedings for this morning will be quite simple. I'll have uh, the Chief Executive Officer make a brief presentation, followed by the Transaction Advisor, and thereafter we'll have a Q&A. Good morning to you all. Thank you for making time to be here at the launch of our 10 billion Kenya shilling medium term note program. And also to, not just to witness the, the launch, but also to, uh, to hear our story. I want to spend a few minutes just uh, taking you back and uh, summarizing our journey, how we've gotten this far. Our journey began with one of our smallest banks in Kenya. It was called United Bank with only one branch. This small bank attracted the attention of a group of determined investors keen on making a difference in the Kenyan banking sector. In, 19, in 1995, these visionary investors sharing a common dream acquired United Bank and renamed it Chase Bank. In the beginning, our, our main ta market, uh, target market constituted of mid-tier corporates and high net worth individuals. And after meeting their special needs and creating lasting bonds, we then entered the SME sector. At present, we are also serving Kenya's booming middle class market. We continually deliver a unique banking experience modeled around a one-stop financial <coughs> solution product offering. Some of our target sectors include transport, construction, manufacturing, real estate, education, and education, among others. Ladies and gentlemen, this impressive growth has been bolstered by our strategic and aggressive entry into the retail and SME sec sectors. At Chase Bank, our neatly coordinated and determined strategy of building services, of offering services that meet the needs of Kenya, Kenya's SME continues to bear fruit. We are dedicated to strengthening, promoting, and developing cooperation in creating financial support systems for women, youth, and SME sector. Today we take the next step in our growth path. We launch a 10 billion medium term note program and this launch paves the way for the bank to raise additional tier two capital to support its strategic initiatives. We believe that this note offer offer is coming at a time when there is a lot of investor confidence in the corporate bond markets and the yields remain sustainable. In addition, we have also issued this as a multi-currency program so that we are in a position to leverage off on the success of last year's Eurobond, which also saw high subscri subscription levels. We anticipate high in high interest in this bond issue from the various stakeholders and also in the equity market. And our view is, 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 is born out of the feedback we've received when we've spoken to, to many potential investors. The success of this bond will help bolster our promise to enable businesses and our customers achieve what matters most to them. Behind every transaction, there is a rationale we talking about the fastest growing bank in the country, in the region, one of the fastest in the continent, most likely. And by virtue of the business banking model, this triggers substantial pressure on the capital of the institution. So if you look backwards, the 50% year-on-year growth over the past seven, eight years has definitely triggered pressure on the capital and uh, trigger the need to um, enhance the available capital of the institution. The bank has been a successful capital raising entity over the last three to four years by successfully placing around 15 billion shilling of debt offshore placement with the entry of investors such as IFC, DEG, Responsibility, Amethyst, European Investment Bank, um, OEB, the Austrian DFI, PTA, Multilateral Southern and Eastern African, Eastern African um, Organization. 
So this bond program will benefit the bank by virtue of the local distribution platform, calling on long-term funding instruments by local retail and institutional investors. It falls very nicely in the context of amended prudential guidelines, which further emphasize the need for core capital and also tier two capital in order to retain uh, compliance with the amended prudential capital adequacy ratios. And a public offering such as this one carries a lot of contingent benefits when it comes to sustaining the retail strategy of the bank thanks to the local and international visibility that it will unlock. Um, and also it prepares the bank for future equity and debt capital market initiatives.